This is the city's water intake. They're going to modernize it. First, the whole river wanted to go right deadhead into here because this is a big deep hole that's been excavated. So that's the low spot in the river. The river ate a channel through this riffle here, deadheaded towards this pipe. So we had to go up and block the flow coming into here to get the main aqua dam in. Yesterday they tried to put just this aqua dam in and um, they weren't successful. So uh, two additional people from aqua dams, personnel that made three here on site and their four uh, personnel were able to install these dams because the river was flowing considerably and deadheading right here into this hole that's out around their water intake. They wanted a deeper hole around it so water can be sucked through it. Well, here we are on the beautiful Umpqua River in Southern Oregon by Myrtle Creek. The project is to surround this pipe so it can be worked on. We tried yesterday, there was too much flow coming through here. So we're going upstream, putting a one and forcing the flow over to the other side of the river. And then we're going to come back and put an aqua dam right around this uh, concrete uh, water intake. You gotta put your knee in there. Right, they don't catch any fish because I don't fish when it's ice in the water. Well, that's the best time to be out here. We've got the three foot high aqua dam starting. We've got water running into it. We're going to go out and push all the flow over the other side of the river. some unroll, then you hold it, and let the water build inside the aqua dam, let the head come up, and then we unroll it some more, one unroll at a time, and we'll work our way across the stream. Have to have so much head in there, let her out. to drop the head inside the aqua dam to make the turn. See the water here just at the top of the dam. The dam's one inch higher. But we've got our turn made. We need to make another turn, make it. No. Go down. Not yet. No, we're not. Well, I know, I know it, but, uh, but we haven't got the turn made. Let it a little out. Straight was 
this way, and now we bent the dam this way. Okay, let her out a foot. Get this foot, it's like six. One more. One more. Hold it. I hold it. Gotta let the head build back inside the aqua dam. There it is, that's it. Which one? We've only got 10 feet left to go. <laughs> Whoa. We've got five feet left to go, but yet we still have to stop and wait for the pumps. Number one rule is don't get in front ahead of your pumps. You gotta always wait for the pumps. Gentlemen. There's the end right there. This little piece here is the connection collar if we wanted to have a connection. Yeah. No wonder that sucker went. <laughs> How long that take us? It's 826. This took us one hour to install this aqua dam. All the flow is going over here in this side of the river. One hour later, the river's diverted. putting a chain around this rock here in the middle of the river because we want to put an aqua dam right through there and there's two big boulders so we're putting a chain around it uh, so the excavator can pull on the chain. Uh, the excavator cannot reach it so we're having to use a chain. The three foot high aqua dam, 150 feet foot long, is completely inflated.
Well, we made it actually a real good seal on the bottom of uh, this three-foot aqua dam. We didn't pick any rocks, but, uh, and it's a nasty bottom. But it still made a good seal. Got a chain around that rock. big concrete chunk. That's Four foot high, five foot high, about 150 foot long. We'll change it in the water. We'll change it in the water. It floats. We're ready to start the uh, installation of the five foot by 150 foot long aqua dam. To do this, the city had to stop sucking water out of the river through this concrete structure. Now we're using this pump to supply the city with water. Of course, the suction hose of the pump is out here. It will be on the outside of the aqua dam. It'll be on the outside of the aqua dam. Now, the pump's already pumping too much water and is making a vortex here because it's not deep enough. So they can't turn the pump all the way up. Now we're starting to pump water inside the aqua dams. We've turned on our four little three inch pumps and now are pumping water into this dam.
have to pick the rocks out um, as we go. So we'll make a better seal. If we go that way, we'll be way We've got a rope set up, one rope tied around the aqua dam to pull off of. This rope is to help hold the aqua dam. We're going to slip the rope to put out more footage. We've been pumping for an hour. We're trying to keep pulling that way from the inside. Get that way. It's fine. It's going to be hard to turn. Well, I'll just go straight down the river from here. Yeah. Now we can keep pulling, but we can try. Yeah, I think if you put in a damn sub in that corner and start plugging in, you can drain it out. Yep. That damn diesel thing doesn't got a plug in on it. Woo. So. The, the rope slipped there. Okay, let's go out another five feet. There it is, right there. Hold on, we got five more feet to go. Let's uh, give, let it build up. Of course, as we're letting it out, here's where the water wants to go over it. This is where the deepest part is. It's backed up here on the upstream side way at the start of the aqua dam. Now, we can't lower that up there to where water goes over it or we'll lose the aqua dam. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this last five feet. This is a pocket of air that wasn't gotten out during uh, Well, where's the end of this at? So as we're letting it out here, the head of the aqua dam is dropping and the crucial part is right up here. We can't drop it here below the water height or the aqua dam won't sit there. And which we never, but the pressure Unrolling it because of the stream bed drop is down here on the end. Good job, everybody. Thank you. Now they have plenty of room to work around this cement structure, which they're going to repair, replace, I'm not quite sure. The water's draining out of this pool right here, just naturally because of the fall of the river. Well, the, uh, the five foot high aqua dam is pumping up. It's only about four feet high, three and a half.
Okay, we're turning off the pump to fill up the aqua dam. This is the start of uh, the main aqua dam. work area. This is the suction for the new temporary uh, city uh, water supply. We turn that on before we put the aqua dam in. The second aqua dam in. This pump from Rain for Rent is uh, feeding the city of Myrtletown. You can see the riffles in the water. We've squeezed it all over this way. This flow here is what they have to deal with with a pump. It's several inches deep and five feet wide, so there's quite a bit of water, but they anticipate a four-inch pump will be able to suck all this water out around this area so they can keep it dry. Looking downstream, no dirty water, zero dirty water. But this is very big gravel, so that, that's to be expected. It's not like there's any mud out here. There's zero mud, there's zero uh, sediments. From starting here at the start of the three foot high aqua dam. This one diverts all the flow that was going this way out and around. And that enabled us to divert the river to the far side, the flow, and work in dead water when we put this aqua dam in. It wasn't quite dead, but it was a heck of a lot less than the whole river flowing into there. Because that's the low side of the river. Taking a picture from the opposite bank of the river. A close up.
The Aqua Dam is leaving plenty of flow area for the river to pass. And that's very crucial in being successful. Interstate I-5. You see this, uh, that's a metal bar, about three quarters of an inch. And if we would have went over that with the three foot high aqua dam, it would have just allowed bunches of water to travel along the bottom of it. It's a good thing we didn't go over. That's a piece of metal. Metal's always good to avoid. But that's uh, not good to go over, which we didn't, but we were just lucky maybe. Gravel deposits all within this bedrock. This is bedrock. This is gravel laying in a crevice of that bedrock, and this is more bedrock. Now we didn't pick rocks on this one that we went over because we knew that we were just blocking the majority of the flow, which we did. Lots of rock in here, and of course you would have to pick the spot if you wanted a good seal, pick those rocks out as the aqua dam's being installed. Okay, this job, one more shot. <laughs> 